For a long time, scientists debated that the Earth was flat or round, until they discovered that it was roughly a sphere and actually oval. Well, so much for that argument. Now, there are other things more mysterious than the Earth itself. Things you've probably never seen or heard of before. From weird water creatures to huge flying animals, the world is indeed full of insane surprises. In this video, we're going to show you some weird looking spheres that are found all around the world. At first, they look like normal round balls, but trust me, they are anything but normal. When they were first discovered, scientists didn't think anything until they looked inside the spheres. So, sit tight as we begin our list of the most mysterious looking spheres. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more crazy yet amazing videos. Now, without further ado, let's start with our number 15 pick. Number 15, the Gotor Globe. The Gotor Globe was one of the primary Kunstamera displays. In 1726, while the Kunstamera Tower was still under construction, the globe was set in the lobby on the third floor. Later on, floor structures were placed above it and upper floors of the pinnacle rose. Directly, the Gotor Globe, or Great Academic Globe, involves the fifth floor of the historical center pinnacle. Made between 1650 and 1664 in the Gotorp Castle in Holstein, the globe dazzled with its monstrous measurements. Its distance across added up to 3.11 meters. The globe had a planetarium interior. Turned by water power, it could make one full rotation in 24 hours, and thus additionally filled in as a clock. The Duke of Holstein Gotorp requested a famous scholar, Adam Olerius, 1599 to 1671 to make the globe. Work began in 1651 and kept going with a few breaks for almost 15 years. This exceptional development was introduced in Holstein in a unique structure in the recreation center on the Schley Riverbank, directly in front of the Palace Island. The globe was controlled by a water wheel, which acted under the tension of water running down the high stream bank. One could get inside the globe through a square opening with an entryway curved as a circle and enlivened with the Duke's arms on the external surface. A fairly wide wooden display encased the globe and filled in as the outside skyline. Number 14. The Celestial Sphere Fountain The Celestial Sphere Fountain was designed by Daniel Marat for the National Castle of William of Orange and Princess Mary at Het Lu, the Netherlands. Merot's round wellspring is carved with a divine map and spits water from a little opening in each star. Now that is one heck of a fountain. Number 13. The Cleaning Spheres Industrialist houseman and engineer Eugene Belgrand designed the advanced Paris sewer system. The sewers are constantly cleaned using huge wooden spheres, only slightly smaller than the rounded passages. The development of water pressure behind the balls constrains them through the passage system until they rise someplace downstream, pushing a bulk of the dirty waste with it. Well, considering the fact that it was centuries back, it was a really smart and efficient idea for removing garbage. Then again, it would require lots of wood, and we can't afford to lose any more forests, can we? It's better to go waste-free and use organic stuff. Number 12. A Great Globe French geographer and revolutionary Elisée Recluse proposed the development of the biggest inside-out globe yet on the size of one one hundred thousandth. The globe stands 418 feet tall and is normally refreshed with the most recent geological data, but due to certain facts, the globe was never built. Number 11. The Forecast Factory Meteorologist Louis Fry Richardson the maker of the primary unique climate estimation model proposed the production of a prediction plant that would utilize some 64,000 human PCs sitting in levels around the periphery of a monster globe. Every number cruncher would be liable for fathoming differential conditions identified with the climate in his quadrant of the Earth. From a platform in the focal point of the industrial facility, 
a director would organize this ensemble of conditions by pointing a light emission on zones of the globe where calculations were moving excessively quick or falling behind. Number 10. Cenotaph for Isaac Newton Are you a fan of Isaac Newton? But you can't be as big as a fan as this guy. The visionary French modeler Etienne Louis Bouly structured his cenotaph for Newton, a monster circle punctuated by gaps that make the fantasy of suspended stars. He states, Oh Newton, I considered encompassing thee with thy disclosure, and subsequently, some way or other, encompassing thee with thyself. From whatever side we see this shape, no stunt of point of view can change the gloriousness of its ideal structure, as delicate and as streaming as it is conceivable to envision. Similarly accepting that the circle speaks to the absolute best articulation of the heavenly, individual French engineers Claude Nicolas Ledeau, Jean Jacques Lequeu, and Leon Valdoyer, all of them designed circular structures during this time. Number 9. The Trickster Ball The first recorded appearance of the acrobat artist La Roche's Wonderkugel, or Bola Mysteriosa act, involved a metal sphere. An empty two-foot steel ball would rise, evidently voluntarily, a limited 24-foot spiraling incline, and afterward plummet similarly as terrifyingly. Toward the finish of the demonstration, La Roche would rise out of the sphere to uncover that it had been he who was actually pushing it by continually moving his focal point of gravity. Number 8. The Trilon The highlight of the New York World's Fair is a 700-foot triangular tower called the Trilon and the 180-foot-tall Perisphere, a monster ball lodging a model of a utopian nursery city of things to come called Democracy. It's depicted in the official manual as an image of a superbly incorporated, cutting-edge city throbbing with life and beat and music. Number 7. Floating Rock Balloons Buckminster Fuller proposed the Cloud Nine Venture, a suspended city of tensegrity circles, each a mile in width. Since the surface-to-volume proportion of such circles would be vanishingly little, Fuller determined that whenever caught sunlight-based vitality raised their inner temperature by a negligible one degree, they would have the option to drift like hot air balloons. To be fair, it's an unusual idea, but we can't help to think what would have happened after the sunset and the balloons ran out of gas. That's not a pretty sight. We're glad they didn't take the idea very seriously. Number 6. The Twine Ball After going through four hours every day for 29 years on the task, Francis Johnson completes the world's biggest twine ball at any point spun without any assistance. It gauges 18,000 pounds, has an outline of 40 feet, and is housed in an encased gazebo in Darwin, Minnesota, where Twine Ball Day is praised each August. Number 5. The Satellune NASA dispatched Echo-1, America's first correspondent satellite. The 100-foot Mylar Satellune is covered in sparkly, radio-reflective aluminum that permits it to inactively skip television and radio signals over the Atlantic. Number 4. The Republic of Kugelmugel After a long-term clash with the Austrian government over the development of his circular house, Austrian craftsman Edwin Lippberger pronounced his property an autonomous country and renamed it the Republic of Kugelmugel. Lippberger was condemned to prison after he refused to pay any property taxes and emphasized on printing his own stamps. Nonetheless, a pardon from the Austrian president spared him from spending time in jail. Doesn't it sort of remind you of Hobbit's houses from Lord of the Rings? Kind of adorable, but still illegal. Number 3. The Sudbury Neutrino The Sudbury Neutrino Observatory started its activity more than a mile underground in an Ontario mine. The 40-foot circle is loaded up with 1,000 tons of substantial water. It aims to recognize sun-powered neutrinos. Number 2. Today's Subscriber Pick And with all of that, it's now time for today's Subscriber Pick. 
Today's photo was sent to us by one of our subscribers, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it on over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. As for now, don't forget to comment and tell us what you think about the image. Is it a pumpkin? A rock? An alien object? At first, it's hard to decide whether the picture was photoshopped or real. When you look closely, you'll realize that the image is real, but the giant, bizarre ball certainly is confusing. You can't decide if it's a rock, a metroid, or a giant old pumpkin. But upon searching, we found that these mysterious huge stones were the giant spheres of Costa Rica. The laborers from the United Fruit Company, while clearing land in the Dequi Valley from Costa Rica, noticed huge quantities of superbly round stone circles. The biggest of these man-made balls were more than 6 feet in width and weighed more than 16 tons. Nobody's certain precisely when or how they were made, or by whom, or for what reason. Yet as indicated by the University of Kansas paleontologist John Hoops, the balls were in all likelihood made by decreasing round stones to a circular shape through a mix of controlled crack, pecking, and pounding. Today, basically the entirety of the circles have been taken from their unique areas. Many are presently prized garden ornaments across Costa Rica. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Death Star If you're a diehard fan of Star Wars like us, then you'll easily recall the planet-destroying Death Star. Well, in 2006, Rem Koolhaas created the structure for the Ross al Khaima Convention and Exhibition Center in the UAE. It's designed by Rem Koolhaas and, and Rainier de Graaf as a component of their joint effort with the OMA. The circle holds a conference hall, lodgings, condos, workplaces, and retail space. A few pundits note a striking similarity to the planet-orbiting Death Star from the movie Star Wars. That's weirdly cool. And with all of that, that's the end of today's list. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and ring the notification bell for the latest video updates. And as always, thanks for watching.